Welcome back, YouTube friends and family. Mars. Today, I want to invite you along with me as I begin my first grow in my Mars Hydro tent, two feet by two feet by five feet. And I'm using my Mars Hydro TS-1000. So come along on this journey with me while I get ready to set in my new plants. And what I'm going to be growing in my tent today is Sirius OG. And I want y'all to follow along with me week by week and watch the progress of how my babies grow under this Mars Hydro light. And if you have any points, any tips, anything you see that could help me out along the way, don't be shy. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to reply and try your advice. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm introducing in the plants and I'll be leaving them in for two weeks under this light. Well, maybe a week, just so they can get used to the light. This is a Mars TS-1000. It comes with 342 LEDs. It's lightweight, made of durable aluminum, has a dimmer switch on it. You can daisy chain. And I think this light will be great and perfect for this tent. So now I got my plants set up in there, how I want them to go. Next, I'm gonna work on putting the net in over it. I don't know exactly how many inches I should put this trollers net. I'm gonna go a few inches higher than the plant and let it grow into it. But once again, if you could help me out and give me any ideas, leave your comments down below. I would gladly appreciate it. I would love to hear from everybody out there. This is the trollers net I'll be using. And give me a minute while I set it up on the plants. Now I got the trollers net in. I just need to cut the excess off and then lower it to the height that I want it. But before I get too deep into this video, one of my cousins in Kansas saw my video and he asked me to give him a shout out. So Corey, Mr. Slim Co, what it do, cuz? And y'all can find him on Instagram, Mr. Slim Co. Now that I got the net in, I'm gonna lower it to I think a, desire, a desirable height. So I think that'll about do it. Have a certain height that they say the light should be from your plants. But I like to get my lights as close to the plants as possible. That way it helps keep it from stretching too, too high, you know, and they can get the light, most light potential. So next what I am gonna do, is I'm gonna lower my light. Now, I do have the Cannabis Grow Bible, and I read in there that as long as you can lower the light low enough, stick your hand under there, and if it don't bother your hand, you know, it won't burn your hand or anything, it won't bother the plants. Plus, I had this net on it, so it's not going to go lower than the net. I don't want to burn my net either, so put it up, leave it up about there. Now, once again, I invite you all, if you have any advice, any ideas, or any comments about anything that I'm doing that you may think I can do better, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I invite all comments, you know. Please leave comments, advice, and let me know down below of anything that you see I may be doing that's incorrectly. The only thing I do know that I am missing is a fan. I'm working, uh, I'm working so much, but once I get the time to actually go out, I will be uh, going to purchase me some fans to put off in here. I do, of course, have a fan to put on it. You know, that's, that's, you know, 
to pull the heat out the tent. But the type of fan I'm looking, talking about is the fan for the inside to help the plants, you know. I don't know, many people may not know this though, but a fan blowing on your plants, it simulates nature. And with the wind blowing on the plants, it only helps the plants to grow stronger. I will be getting fans in here soon. I already have my net set up. I think it's probably perfect, but it might be too high. I don't know. That might be just fine. Like I say, you got something to say? Any comments? Help me out. Let me know. Also, I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, OG. He's starting up his YouTube channel. He's a grower as well. So, I want everybody to do me a favor. Go to his page and watch his video. And I will be putting a link to his videos down below in the description. So, look out for the link. His name is Monty Haynes on YouTube. Go out and show your support. I got my fan set up. I don't have a filter, but where I live, I don't need a filter. Like I said earlier, I will be going to get some fans to put off in here. As soon as I get some time off of work, probably be here in a couple of days. And I, I'm going to let them grow under this light for about a week or maybe two, depending on how fast they grow. And then I'm going to switch it over to 12-12. But this is the first day of having my tent set up. And these plants are... The Sirius OG, I already topped them as they grow toward the net. As they grow toward the net, I'll be super cropping as well. If you're interested in purchasing this tent or this TS-1000 LED light panel, there will be a link in below to my sponsors to where you can go and purchase this tent and also check out other products that Mars Hydro have to offer. And we're glad to thank you for your support and your purchases. This is the third day since I began in this tent. As y'all remember, I had first introduce my three plants to this tent you know and then on my other video you know had people come in about I need get the humidity up and I need to put a fan in there and everything so that was already the plan but I also let y'all know I took y'all advice. So either way it go, I got exactly what y'all said. I need a fan and I need to get the humidity up. But I already know once I uh, feed them and close the tent up, the humidity going to go up. Because right now I actually don't have an exhaust fan on it. But I'm working on getting one of those too. But yeah, this is the third day. Finna feed them. Still, they're still going to be on, like I say, a week or maybe two weeks straight, veg. And then I go to the bloom. I, I'm not for sure exactly right now. But y'all can hang out while I uh, mix the food and get them food for the first time in the tent. And continue to follow the journey as I go. And these plants are called Series OGs. 
I've been waiting to get up my hands on these clones. And I really couldn't wait to get it into my Mars Hydro grow tent. Under this TS-1000 light. And if you're interested in one, you can click down below in the link in the description. And you can go check out other products they have to offer. Just tell them the one sent you. Now I'm about to feed them some miracle Grow. Yeah, I know most folks might not, you know, all organic and all this other stuff, but this is for me. And then I got some coming anyway. I got some food coming. I had to order it. But for now, I'm finna feed them this miracle Grow. Give them a little Super Thrive, a little Plus C, a little Cow Mag. Also, as you see, I got my pH -er, so I can pH the water. So first, let's give them a little bit of this miracle grow. Okay, so for indoor plants, I'm only gonna mix a half teaspoon per gallon of this miracle grow. Okay, y'all, so we're back, and we've been in two weeks of flowering. So now what we're going to do today is we're going to feed them and put them under 1212. You know, I hear a lot of people say, oh, they do a 24 hours and all this other good stuff of darkness, and then 1212, well, I go straight to 1212. And I got good news. My sponsors, Mars Hydro, have given me a promo code for all who is interested in their products and buying anything off the Mars Hydro website, you can now get 3% discount just by using my promo code, the one vlog. And I will be putting that down in the link below. So just use my promo code and you can get a 3% discount. So yeah, I'm about to water these, feed them. And then set the timer on them so they can be converted to 1212. Now that they finally reached the net, I can now turn the light. I mean, I know this one right here hasn't made it yet, but it will. But the other two in the back are there. So we're going to go ahead and switch them over to 1212 today and start our eight weeks of flowering. So hang in there with me. I'm going to carry you along the journey, and you'll get to watch the progress as I go along. Any advice, any comments, or anything you would like to leave, leave down below in the comments box, and I gladly welcome any advice and all comments. Once again, this is the second week of Veg on Serious OGs. So I got my digital timer that I'm going to hook up to it. Uh, I do have the timer from the Mars Hydro, the one they sent me. But I haven't been hearing, I've been hearing bad reviews about this timer. So I didn't want to chance it and use it. So I went and got me the digital one. I'm going to set that one up in here. And then, like I said, I'm going to uh, feed the plants. Okay. So I set my timer. Got my timer set up and start it. So I'm gonna start off with my nukes. I use Supernatural Grow Terror. I use Super Thrive. Cow Mag. plus C and of course I got my pH tester 
So that's what I'm using today. And this is going to be the first day of flowering. Because my timer is now set up. So let's start with the newts. Now I know people like to use distilled water and everything, but I've always used the water out the hydrant. That would never let me down. I haven't had any bad experience with it, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. First, I want to start off with the plus C. I'm going to shake it real good. And with the plus C, you want to add It says add two ounces for every five gallons. So I'm just going to use a, a normal teaspoon per gallon. Now I know people like to use distilled water and everything, but I've always used the water out the hydrant. That would never let me down. I haven't had any bad experience with it. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. First, I want to start off with the plus C. I'm gonna shake it real good. And with the plus C, you wanna add, it says add two ounces for every five gallons. So I'm just gonna use a, a normal teaspoon per gallon. In my measuring cup, you know, I used to get these out the little miracle grow packages. This is a 2.5 milliliter, which is half of a teaspoon, so I have to give it two of these. Okay, so that's the plus C. Next, we're going to add, next, we're going to add the Super Thrive. So with the Super Thrive, you get it one-fourth teaspoon per gallon, which I'll give it a half a teaspoon. Shake it up. That's a half a teaspoon. So now we're going to give it the Cow Mag. Cow Mag Plus. Let's shake it real good. And with this, that's a teaspoon per gallon. Next, we want to give it the Supernatural. And with the Supernatural, it's a teaspoon to two teaspoons per gallon. We're only going to give it a teaspoon. Let's give it a teaspoon and a half. Now, what I do like about this Supernatural is, you know, a lot of times I have to worry about pH and everything. But Supernatural actually 
PA this is the water for you. So just to show you how it pHs the water for you, we're just going to do a pH test. So you want to add five drops. Take it, shake it up, and then as you see, it has the olive color. And if you look here and compare it, it's 6.0. So the pH is 6.0, which is good. Now, like I said, the Supernatural brand, it pHs the water for you automatically. So you don't really have to worry about pHing it. But I just did this to show you as a demonstration. So we got perfect pH on the water. Now we're going to water it. Okay, so that's one gallon. Now we gotta mix up the next gallon. Okay, now I just finished adding the food to the second gallon. Come on. We're going to give it a shake and check the pH again. See the little tube? Hmm? This one up here. Pull that out for me. So we're gonna test. We're gonna test the pH again, just to show you the supernatural brand. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And shake it up. And once again, it's perfectly pH 6.0. And put that out for me. And then we feed them again. And after that, we're going to close it up, put the timer on it, and let it go.
So there you have it. This will be the first day of the first two weeks of flowering. And we're going to come back as it progresses and we're going to show you how it goes. How it's, and we're going to show you how it's coming along as it goes. So just stay tuned and tune in. Hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. And thank you for watching. Mars.